Welcome back to NewHavenChargers.com, joined by head baseball coach Chris Solano after a 5-4 win over Southern Connecticut State. Coach, uh, didn't do much against Rocco Kandari first time through the lineup, and then uh, second time through in the fourth inning, put four runs across. Talk about that inning. Um, he definitely had our number the first time through. That inning, we kind of put the pressure on their defense. Two good bunts. Um, he ended up making a throwing error, um, kind of opened up the uh, floodgates. And if you look at it, we really only did it with one hit. So it was, uh, it was good to see, but I would have liked us to swing the bat a little bit better. And uh, talk about the pitching performance in that game. Taylor Candidge goes seven strong. Uh, Jason Lewicki puts up a zero. Then Peter Jay does what he's been doing all season long and puts up a zero. Yeah, I mean, Taylor deserved a little bit better than the, uh, than the score shows. He threw seven great innings. Um, the eighth inning, I think he might have run out of gas a little bit. But Jason came in and did a great job. And, I mean, what can you say about Peter? He's done uh, what he's been doing the whole season. And, Coach, uh, coming up this weekend, you've got Southern New Hampshire and Franklin Pierce. That's a tough road weekend. Talk about the mindset the next few days and then going into that weekend series. Well, I think, obviously, uh, getting two wins this week, um, rolling into that helps. Um, having two days to kind of sit back and get some good practice time in is going to help us. But um, we're rolling in, you know, trying to just keep playing good baseball. To me, it doesn't matter who we play. It's um, how we play is going to determine, um, you know, how we do. So, to me, um, we're actually looking forward to being able to play against what are probably two of the best teams in the region. Uh, Coach, congratulations on the win. Thanks for joining us. Andrew, you had a big two-run single as a part of that four-run fourth inning. Uh, hadn't done much against their starting pitcher before that inning. What changed second time through the lineup? Uh, I thought we just got better pitches to hit. Um... He was he was throwing he was throwing pretty good, but we were just looking for good pitches to hit, and the infield was in when I got up. So I just tried to do something with a with a pitch, and got lucky and got a good hit. Um, so building up some momentum coming into this weekend, big conference weekend, uh, Southern New Hampshire and Franklin Pierce. Uh, what's the mindset over the next few days heading into the that series? Just to keep working hard and stay focused, and have a good good few practices the next couple of days. Nick, your solo home run, the bottom of the sixth inning, proved to be the difference on the scoreboard today. Uh, talk a little bit about that at bat. Well, you know, um, I came up there. I haven't done much my, uh, my other tour at bats. I, I got a single earlier, so I knew he was probably just going to come right at me with a fastball. So I was looking for the fastball. I got the first pitch, and I didn't, I didn't let it go. So I got a, got a good swing on it, got a good piece of it. Nick, as a freshman, uh, what have the older guys been talking to you about as far as going through this Northeast 10 schedule? Uh, it's, it's just it's telling me stuff like uh, stay confident. It's a long season. You got a lot. You got a lot to prove. You're a good player, and just trying to stay confident and building up to be be a team player.